Welcome to Our Gamified World. I'm Danielle Teichene. And I'm Adam Brown. Today we're talking about a virtual currency in a higher education learning context. And I interviewed Adam Brown. Thanks so much for coming down and chatting to us, Adam. No worries. Could you please tell us what your role is at Deakin University? Sure. I'm a senior lecturer in digital media. I've been full-time at Deakin for about five years now uh, at the Melbourne Burwood campus. And I do a lot of teaching and research in, in digital media. And that's how I've come to be talking to you today. So could you tell us why you chose to incorporate gamification into your unit? Sure. Well, uh, it's three years ago in 2013 that I designed an initial unit on digital media. And last year, in 2015, was the first year that I had a specific topic that I uh, built into it on gamification, the gamification of everyday life. And I actually made a video with you as part of that. And what struck me was how interested students were. That was number one. They were really interested in the topic. Number two, they didn't know much about it. They hadn't really heard of the concept before, which I suppose is, is kind of you know, understandable given that it's pretty new. Um, but I kind of started to feel like it was a bit out of place last year because I wasn't actually gamifying the unit in any way. I wasn't using gamification. I was just explaining it, kind of the, um, you know, just the, the old, old style approach to, you know, just theoretically examining it, I suppose, you know, had some case studies examples. I was encouraging people to, to go and have a look at examples, but there was nothing in the unit, even though I make videos, like, you know, make some interactive videos in some ways where I bring students in and I might create links, but it, it wasn't really doing what gamification offers and wasn't taking advantage of it. So I really wanted to bring gamification into the unit to a degree. And it was only a couple of weeks ago that uh, I, and I'm, a, I'm about a month away from teaching this unit, so it's kind of very much um, growing as, as we speak, but I had the idea of the virtual currency. Uh, and that's, that's where all this is starting to, to come to be, I suppose. And how does the virtual currency model work in, in the unit? Yeah, so it's, it's, I mean, it's at kind of experimental stages in some ways. Um, what I've found in previous years, the last three years, I've been making teaching videos. And I use my little Maltese Shih Tzu dog, Tiffany, in those videos. And she's somewhat of a celebrity, I have to admit. Last year, I remember a student said in week one, hey, everyone, and this was on Twitter, let's make Tiffany go viral because she's got her own Twitter profile. And even a couple of days ago, this is, this is true, a student who I was talking to on the phone about internships, I had never met this student in person. Um, she, uh, when she heard what my name was, she actually said, did you do an orientation day um, presentation in, would have been February last year? And I said, yeah, I, I think I showed a, a little video of my dog um, running around the living room. She said, yeah, yeah, that's the one. And so I found that Tiffany is the celebrity and she's sort of a, a, a central part of engagement in the unit. So I've decided to call my virtual currency Tiffits. That was a long story of saying that's where this comes from. Mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty obvious when you see a lot of my online content with, with Tiffany. So students start with 100 Tiffits each. And that actually, and they're automatically subscribed to a playlist of getting practical with digital media videos. And they cost 10 tiffets. So there'll be 10 of those videos and they'll get access to those automatically. So they don't actually have to earn any tiffets to get access. It's just the idea. You start with 100, they will be deducted and you'll get, you get unlockable content, is essentially. And you know, it's going to be unlocked for everyone. You can accrue more tiffets. You can obtain more tiffets by being active online. And the, the whole key, the whole idea of that is that you can level up. I've got digital badges um, that display Tiffany's cute little face in various ways. You start off as a digital recruit and you can become a skilled prosumer. And that's the idea, at least initially, for the badges. Uh, this is very organic. This could change as we go. Um, there'll be extra videos. So what I've got is the idea of 10 initial videos and those people who earn enough tiffets through active social media use, could be tweets, could be blogs, could be, could be a video. It could be a great um, discussion post uh, within the Cloud Deacon forums. You know, it could be all this kind of stuff. Um, I, I don't know exactly what students will make. 
Um, I'll be evaluating this as we go. I've always looked at all students' tweets with the unit hashtag, so I can, I can keep an eye on what's going on, and I, I thought I can favourite the tweets as we go so I know what I've covered, and I sort of have always done that anyway. Um, so that's the idea, and students will accrue more tiffets, and they can, if they've got enough, if they've accrued more, they will unlock extra content. So they will get enough to complete the unit, even without accruing further tiffets. But those students who get more tiffets, they will unlock bonus level videos that will show, you know, more advanced kind of, you know, just short video clips of, of more advanced content on how to use digital media. So it sounds a little bit like you're solving an engagement problem, but also letting the students explore the concept of gamification by living through it. Is, is this what you're trying to achieve? Yeah, it is both. It is both. I mean, I suppose this is an example of structural gamification. It's not, I'm not gamifying the content as such. I'm, mm. I, I, you know, I'm wanting to start um, in a structural way. Mm. So it's, it's framing their engagement through mm. gamification. Um, but in a growing sense, maybe that will become kind of a content gamification way. But it is certainly trying to, one, get them engaged, and I've seen that happen for years. You know, the students who do best in these units are the ones who are actively engaged. And gamification is a, an amazing kind of phenomenon that may allow us to be more motivated, to, to do that more, to actually be rewarded more, even if those rewards are kind of not tangible ones, even if they are virtual ones. But, you know, as I said, this is an organic thing. It may change over time, and, and it'll be really interesting to see how people engage with it. But in week... Uh, in several weeks into the trimester, I do have a topic on gamification. So it, it will be a really useful sort of activity to reflect on after we've been engaging in gamification for a couple of weeks as part of that week of study. So it does kind of become a, a meta um, discussion as, as we move into it. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Thanks again for coming down and chatting to us, Adam. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week when we discuss PackDap, a gamified approach to motivating gym users to actually go to the gym. And please hit subscribe below and feel free to leave us a comment or a question as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.